in the middle of the assembly of the experimental gliding parachute from Apogee Components. In our previous step, we mounted the switch onto one of the bulkheads here. Now, uh, I chose to put the faceplate on that came with the switch, but if you don't put that faceplate face plate on, um, on the uh, plywood sheet, there's this little rectangle here. And what you would do is you would pop that out of the sheet and glue it right next to the switch so that it's harder to turn it on and off. We don't want anything bumping it and accidentally turning it off during the flight. But with the faceplate there, it acts as the same type of bumper. So I'm not going to put that on, but uh, you can put that on. Um, our next step is to uh, mount the serve, uh, the receiver and the battery. Um, and it doesn't matter which side that you put these on. Um, you just need to have room um, to be able to put your connectors into your ser uh, receiver right here. Um, so it can either go on this side or the other side. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the Velcro strips that come with it um, and then just mount it onto the board. And that way you can pop it off and pop it on. And it's, and it's secure enough. It's not going to move around on you. We've flown these, you know, dozens of times. Um, and so on this one, I've already had um, the Velcro put on. So I'll do the same thing for the battery. And I'm just going to cut a strip. And this is kind of tough to cut, but it will cut. And just peel the back off. And then just put that on your battery. And then we'll put strips of um, the hooks on the other side of the Velcro onto the board itself. That's one. This is some good Velcro. It wants to stick. Okay, so this battery, I'll put it here, and then we have these pass through holes to run the cords to the other side. And I have the same thing on this side. I want, I want my uh, connectors, um, oops, flip it over <laughs> like here. And these little pieces of wire are the antenna for the receiver. Okay, so this actually will actually go because the switch is going to go on this side. So this will go right into the switch. When this goes together, you see this hole here on this bulkhead will line up with that hole there. So the battery connector can go right there. And then this will go to this side. And it would be plugging into the right, right hole. I'm just making sure that I got enough room. Doesn't matter which one I plug it into. I just wanted to make sure that there's enough room between that connector and the uh, weld nut here. So there's plenty of room right there. All right, so everything's fitting together. So we'll go ahead and put this off to the side and go on to the next step. So in our next step, we'll start cutting up the Kevlar um, and then uh, start tying things together. And we're getting close.